Also new at 10, a lawmaker pushing to make hazing a crime. Is it going too far? We've seen students get suspended or kicked off a sports team for hazing freshmen. But a proposal at the Roundhouse could mean more serious penalties turning hazing into a crime. News 13's Lizay Mitri has more on the bill and what people are saying about it. Lizay. Dean, the legislator behind the bill says students from the University of New Mexico actually asked for it, and New Mexico is only one of a handful of states across the country without a law against hazing. <laughs> In 2014, hazing landed two UNM soccer players in the hospital with alcohol poisoning. You want to play? My friend has been intoxicated and there's nothing more I can do and I need some help. UNM suspended the coach and upperclassmen. There is no question there was hazing in this incident. In Santa Fe last year, a beatdown on a school bus, plus headlines for hazing from Valencia High School to Raton High School. But one lawmaker thinks a bill to make hazing a misdemeanor would help put a stop to it in New Mexico schools. Having uh, legislation that specifically used the term hazing gives an open awareness that you cannot do something that becomes detrimental. The House bill describes hazing as initiation into a group that recklessly or intentionally endangers the health of a student, including examples like yelling, humiliating, harassing, belittling, cursing, sleep deprivation, and forced calisthenics. Punishment could call for a $1,000 fine or less than a year in jail. While UNM students we spoke with agreed hazing is wrong, not everyone supported criminalizing it. I think ultimately it probably should not be a misdemeanor and the main reason for that is because I think it's something that uh, we need to learn with to deal with within the school system. I think it's um, an issue, like I would make it a misdemeanor because students don't think it's anything, they just do it for fun. The bill also specifies a crime for hazing that results in death, making it a fourth degree felony, which comes with a max of a year and a half behind bars. Dean, back to you. Okay, Lizay, thank you. In 2013, two Raton High School basketball players got probation after they were accused of rubbing their clothed crotches on younger teammates' faces. Valencia High School football players also got probation for a hazing incident in 2010 when they sodomized another player.